right so uh, now that you have installed the right api levels and all everything in your android sdk right once you have done that okay suppose in front of api level you will have these installed messages okay now once you have done that now you need to download and configure selendroid okay now down for downloading and configuring selendroid you need to go to this particular website sorry yeah you need to go to selendroid.io right this is the website over here you will get the latest version which is 0.11.0 you can download the jar file from here but okay don't download the latest version like the current latest version is 0.11 it is unstable okay it is not stable right uh, dominic is the person who has who has been making this tool and he himself tells that 0.11 version is not a very stable version for selendroid use 0.10 there are a lot of defects in 0.11 so uh, i have 0.10 jar with me as well right it it is actually hold on uh, in selendroid i have kept the jar file over here it's also there in your account you can download 0.10.jar okay this is the jar file which you will get once you download selendroid but the problem is these guys uh, they don't give this particular jar file selendroid client 0.10 on their website i don't know why why haven't they kept this client jar because this is also required for selendroid to run okay they have not kept this jar file on the website i had a discussion with them and ultimately i got this jar file but they have kept this particular jar with them on the website you can download both the jars from my site i have kept it over there right now what you need to do is that when you are working with selendroid the first thing which you need to do is you need to start the selendroid server and that server is started through command prompt you need to open the command prompt okay and start the selendroid server right and the difference from apm over here is that okay uh, in apm we have got a user interface right you start 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 and stop the apm server from there but over here we have the command prompt in selendroid we have the command prompt and you have to start the server from this particular command prompt and inside when you start the server you need to give following things you need to give your uh, stand alone jar path okay when you are starting from command prompt you need to give the stand alone jar path along with the apk path right when you are starting the selendroid server you need to give the path of the apk file right you need to give the path of the application under test the apk file you need to give that path okay these two things now what i'll do is i'll tell you what how to do i'll first copy this path under this path my 0.10 dependencies.jar is there okay i'll copy it from here uh, hold on and i'll give the path right now i'll give the command java hyphen jar okay and i'll give the selendroid jar path okay selendroid client 0.10.0 jar okay this particular jar path i'll give over here fine and after that i'll give the path of the app hyphen app okay the path of the app right is lying at this particular location hold on tools uh under appm under apps i had kept all the app files okay i am going to use this apk now please note right in while working with appm i told you how to extract the apk file now please note the apk file which you extract should be a signed apk what do you mean by a signed apk by saying it should be a signed apk i mean that uh, the developer should had signed that particular apk okay uh, while making the apk the developers they sign the apk generally all the apk files or all the applications which you download from google play store they ha they are signed okay like for example this contact manager apk which i didn't download from uh, the 
play store and also over here, this is not a signed apk this application cannot be run with cylindroid okay but this this can be run because this is a signed application i'll copy the path of the app and then i'll paste the path followed by the name of apk file so you need to give the path of the apk file while starting the cylindroid server so i give the path fine and my uh, phone is also connected this is nexus 5 okay i have connected nexus 5 hold on i'll just uh, hold on hold on yeah i have connected nexus 5 right so nexus 5 uh, i'm going to run cylindroid on nexus 5 right so i'll start the server okay no manifest in cylindroid oh sorry sorry i gave the client jar I, you don't need to give the client jar i'm sorry guys just hold on you need to give the path of the standalone jar yeah fine you need to give the path of the cylinder selenium standalone jar and then start the server okay this the app has been signed you get this message over here right and in some time the cylindroid server will start okay cylindroid standalone server has been started on port number 4444 right and now if you go to your browser and type localhost colon 4444 slash wd slash hub slash status right when you run this okay it will give you app id right it will give you the app id of the application right of the apk file over here you'll get the app id over here. there are other parameters as well for the uh, processor and all and the operating system everything is there in that one of the parameters would be app id you will need this app id to actually execute the script if you go to eclipse right i have this already i have made this project cylindroid 2 right that is module 2 in this i have kept the following jar files i have kept all the jar files of selenium right and i have kept the cylindroid client as well as standalone jar file in the path along with that i have kept the jar files of selenium so there are three kinds of jar files needed one is the one are all the jar files of selenium other is the cylindroid client and cylindroid standalone right now <clears throat> this is i have already made the code you don't need this that's all right so you keep the object of web driver as web driver interface driver as global and then you keep the object of cylindroid launcher fine if even if you don't need to do this at this stage it's all right you don't need that right now the first thing which we do is that we create the object of class known as cylindroid capabilities and in the constructor we path we, we pass over the app id right the app id is the one which you got from the browser over here okay so with the app id capability you need to initiate everything fine hold on right and then you initiate your driver to cylindroid driver cylindroid driver is an internal class in cylindroid okay in which you pass over the capabilities okay and it launches the selenium cylindroid application basically if you this line will actually launch the application on the phone when i execute this command when i execute it it will start running and hold on some error came up the error is some null pointer exception is coming test app dot java line number 34 driver output. hold on is my server running no some error is so if some error comes up you will get the error description over here if you look at the description over here in the error carefully uh, it will say that error uh, it's error occurred while looking for devices or emulators like it says that device is not connected that means hold on i'll reconnect my device probably there is some issue hold on yeah i have reconnected my device and it okay it's detected now automatically the message came up adding hardware serial number this model is nexus 5 so reconnection of the device helped in uh, help server to tell that it has actually directed this particular device right now i am going to uh, run this thing again right 
device has been detected all my configurations are correct the server is started fine and server has also detected the device now when I run this it will take some time right you look at the camera yeah you see that the application got launched this is the application it just got launched and after 12 seconds it will stop because after after thread dot sleep for 12,000 which is written over here after test will execute which will quit it and uh, you see that the application is qu quitting now I'll run this again and you'll yourself, yourself see that see the application launches right and after 12 seconds the application will quit so this is how you run it on the real phone okay this is a real Nexus 5 fine and now I'll actually uh, go and execute it on an emulator see the application stops fine to execute it on the emulator it is better that you write the code inside Eclipse which is there for um, Android developers like I want to say that go to the location sorry go to the location you where you have kept Android and launch that particular Eclipse okay open that Eclipse hold on let me start it alright uh, inside it you can uh, launch an emulator as well I'll just tell you okay uh, the application which I am using in this uh, case is actually hold on oops some cache issue hold on right the application which I am using in this case hold on is actually uh, Savan APK right this is a Indian application when it's about songs and all so that's what I'm using right and what I'm going to do is that I will launch this APK on Android okay I have already made the program over here fine this is the app ID for this application I have extracted it from the local host I did it behind the scenes you already know how you can extract the application ID right you can download this APK file this is available this is a signed APK please note with Celandroid you need signed APK right now uh, what I'll do is I'll first of all go over here and go to my Android virtual device manager fine you go over here I've created a virtual device that means I've created an emulator okay these are the configurations of the emulator you can also create the same emulator make sure your front and back cameras are emulated fine and uh, now I'm going to first launch the emulator okay uh, in case you, you are not able to create such an emulator please make sure that you have all the dependencies installed in Android okay what I'm trying to say is that go to Android SDK manager the same manager which used to get opened through command prompt okay can be opened from here as well and make sure everything or you are updated and you, are, you have installed all the components fine which I talked about earlier now you go to your Android SDK uh, sorry Android virtual device manager and you start the device which will take up some time okay it takes up a lot of time not some time lot of time till that time I'll pause right so I have this uh, AVD which is a virtual device running fine and now I have removed my phone only AVD is uh, running right now okay I'll run the same code okay I'll run the same code let me close this yeah I'll run the same code and what will happen is that the same application right, will start running in the device okay so when you run this it will take up some time okay just hold on it will take up some time right so you'll be seeing the logs are running over here and I'm using the Eclipse which comes up with Android okay fine so and the application will launch just wait let us wait uh, there is no other option other than waiting for this right I have deliberately given thread.sleep 5000 over here so that it uh, waits for 5000 seconds before it actually uh, fires the function driver dot quit over here fine if you look at the command prompt oh, oh my god it's failing it's failed I, I did not start my server I'm sorry 
I'm really sorry, right? I need to start my server. I'm uh, really sorry, guys. So now, when you run this after the server has started, right? Localhost 4444, it's running. Uh, now, when you run this, app will be launched on. Yeah, you see that something is happening. Hold on. Just hold on. Right. So this is a s application about Indian songs. Right. So it's launching. That there, there is it. Uh, there, there's the app uh, right in front of you. Fine. So uh, everything is fine. It runs on the emulator as well. But I prefer working on the real device because it is faster. Okay. Emulator takes a lot of time. Fine. And in the end, when you are working in a real time exam uh, scenario in a company or so, you Cannot just test the app on emulator and release it in the market. Okay, right. 